All right, guys, we got Ryan here today, My and hurts. We, <laughs> we, have, we have Taylor's Explore ST here, and this is a long-awaited video. Everybody's been asking me for a downpipe video. I think I've done well over 10 sets of downpipes now and haven't filmed a single one. So here is our vehicle that we're going to be using. Yes, I have downpipes on my car. No, I did not film it on my car, which is why we're filming it on Taylor's car. Uh, again, we have CV fab down pipes, wherever the hell they, oh, they're there. Right there, these beautiful things. Best price on the market, they're like 600 bucks for the pair of them, dude. And uh, the beautiful thing is CV fab doesn't charge taxes or shipping. You can get those from HoustonSpeedFreaks.com, which is my website. Um, again, great design. If you wanna go up a little bit in quality, go with the fin fabs. Can't go wrong with the fin fabs, a little bit more expensive, worth every penny. Brett's welds are on point. Um, beautiful thing about the CV fab though, again, it's not a comparison video, is these are lifetime warranty. So that is another big plus, especially going to an aftermarket cat, um, cause sometimes they have issues. Um, now obviously that does not cover labor and whatnot when you are installing, but it does cover the part. So uh, Taylor here, last time he came over, we did an intercooler and we did the thermal exhaust. So now we're gonna be installing the downpipes and it's gonna sound beautiful. So let's get started guys. All right, guys, <clears throat> we got a brick under the rear wheel over there. I went right in the middle of this because this one has Steeda springs. So you're able to actually fit up underneath the front of the car and no front lip. Um, and so you can jack up both sides and jack stands. Very important. Don't forget the jack stands. We're going to put those on the pinch welds and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. All right, guys, so as you can see, the jacks are on the pinch welds, and this is for all the keyboard warriors that want to tell me I don't use jack stands. I just normally don't show them because why, but whatever. Here they are. They're on there, and you can let off all the pressure on the jack now that they're on the jack stands. Um, we're kind of leaving the jack here, and now what I'm going to do is crawl underneath the car. And again, this has a thermal exhaust. If you have factory exhaust, it's going to be a little bit different. And uh, I'll show y'all what to do. Recording? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we got a brand new device here. Uh, shout out to Scott Vandergrift. He ended up sending me this from Amazon. It's a little microphone. And this is to help hear me when I'm not near the camera or away from it or my camera guy's following it. So really excited to show this. Dude, are you fucking filming yourself? <laughs> what the uh, again, this process is going to be different if you have factory down pipes or factory um, God dang, flex pipes here. Um, so either way, it's gonna be 15. So that is the magic size for these. So we're gonna undo the 15s that are, oh, that's a, that's a 16. <laughs> these are 15 though. So we're gonna undo the back back here, which is good. And these are much easier to take off than OEM because instead of a slip fit over the stuff, you just have these slip foot couplers. And so once you get everything loose, you can shove these couplers back. And there you go. You got that side loose. We'll do this one. Now I'll go get a 16. And we'll slide it this way. That way it doesn't fall off. And then again, let me go grab my 16. We'll get these off and then we can get straight to the down pipes. We got our 16s here. So I'm gonna go ahead and. All right. So hopefully we can grab this and pull this off of it now. And all I'm doing is it's already loose. I'm just trying to pop it loose because sometimes they get um, stuck on here. Um, now that we got that washer down, I need to get this thing to, to pop loose somehow. There it goes. You literally feel the whole thing loosen up. And we'll see if this side is any different. Again, we're gonna go spit on these things. Might not be your typical install. Um, these mid pipes are just on there and uh, we don't have enough leverage on our backs, but they're loose back here, completely undone. And so um, I always like to lower the rear of the front subframe and that'll give us a, a more shot to pull straight out. Um, if anything, we're gonna end up dropping the down pipes with the flex pipes on there, the mid pipes, and get them off, off of the car. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is just skip right here. And there's, again, you got three 
um, 13s. I put on my 15 like a dummy. Um, where did my 13 go? Oh, here it is. Okay, customer's got a little bit of an oil leak. <laughs> That's pretty gross. Look at that. Um, pretty common on these issues is you'll have an oil leak from right in here. Um, especially the higher miles you get up in them, uh, the more you abuse them and whatnot. So now that we got those off, um, I'm going to go get my seven. And you're going to have these two little screws. You're going to have one on each side. Uh, the other one is right up there. And that will expose our 18. And then I'll say up here is a yeah, 24. So... We'll get some dirt in your eye. You want to hit that one over there? Again, this will let some rusty water down. So, like, if you're thirsty, you can just drink it. It's even more juicy. Uh, yeah, there's all that rust water. That's my favorite stuff to drink right there, dude, especially when it's hot out, you know, get a little bit of the vitamins. All right, guys, any of the impact? <laughs> it's like a murder scene over here. <laughs> All right, so up in the front, we're going to have these 24s. Well, not in the front, but midway up and... See the subframe start to come down a little bit. There you go, you got the 24 out too. From the front. Go ahead and show them that, yeah, right up in there. Mm. Ford quality, built tough. All right. I'm gonna let that down. Jack's not supporting nothing, and that's gonna give us just that little bit of extra leverage um, Room for or insight, hand. yeah, for you to see up in there with. I'm gonna drop this jack and get it all the way out of our way completely. This is the fun part, guys. Um, the bolt here on the passenger left is the worst bolt in the downpipe installation. Um, it's difficult to get to. It's difficult to see. Um, I'll show y'all here what I have. And modified is a deep E22 socket, right? And what I did is I cut about an inch off of it to make it like a mid-length socket. And it helps out tremendously. Also having swivels. Because again, there's not much room to get up in here. Um, also, I really try to recommend using blasting penetrant and or just penetrating oil in general you spray it on there the best you can again they're way up in there <laughs> but spray it on there the best you can and it's going to help go a long long way i'm going to start with the easier down pipe i'm going to go on the driver's side and then i was like you know easiest to hardest that's normally i like to work um but real quick i'm gonna get my leaf blower and blow out all this rust chips and shit here right into my camera guy's face <laughs> now you can get up <laughs> <laughs> you want to make sure you get an extension that's as long as your dick to get up in there. I don't know whose dick this is as long as it's not mine, but it's pretty long. And, uh, you know, we got the, the swivel boy here, okay? We got a, a step down from a three-quarter to a, or sorry, from a half inch to a three-eighths. Really long bar, and then from a three-eighths to a half inch. Back from there, and maximum torque. Maximum torque. Because we want to lose all of our torque with all the extensions and stuff that we're putting up in here. I can kind of see it. Let me see if I can push it on there. Yeah, something like that. There we go. She's on there, boys and gals. 
Okay, and... Okay, ready? Dude, I snapped my fucking... <laughs> I snapped it. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, all right, O'Reilly's run. Let's go. All right, guys, remember, impact sockets are a scam. We got the chrome socket right here, right? Which was our other adapter, but yet the hard instilled impact one broke. Make it make sense. So don't waste your money on this stuff. Fucking just get the chrome ones. <laughs> this is this is all new content that people don't get to see most of the time because I'm filming by myself. Dude, he's in. I told you he's in here. He needs to check our carburetor again. <laughs> he's like, uh. <laughs> I need extensions. Yeah. Two of these. What's the phone number? Uh, 936. Oh, sh hey, should we get a... Hang on. We should probably get some uh, with a little nozzle on it, since we're already here. The penetrant. Where's it at? There you go, PB blaster with the nozzle. I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need a can of this too. <laughs> yeah. The, the Audi a couple times sleeping. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in my Explorer. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course. Of course. Always. All right, guys, we, we got a straw now and two 10 inch extensions. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I would have got a silver ST. Yeah, yeah. all right. Yes. The good thing too is um, since that broke, it let the PB blaster sit a little longer, so. Professional. Professional. <laughs> Back on there. And all right. Hey, number uno. Again, PB Blaster is your friend. You saw that, huh? <laughs> also, Milwaukee, sponsor us, dude, because I love y'all and your impacts are the best. So you need to sponsor us. Milwaukee guys or nothing. Let's hope that this bad boy comes right off too. Yeah, that one came off. Because now the whole downpipe's coming off on me. Ah. Alright. Um easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> so we're gonna come over here and we'll just pull that out so I can show y'all. Um, that normally slides into something over here. Unclick. Ooh, it's got a lot of dirt in it. <laughs> Gonna rub dirt in your eye, kid. <laughs> and you're gonna have another one. If you wanna show them. Right up here. Probably not showing them nothing. <laughs> it's right here. here Plugs in. And then we're just going to pull back. Wiggle down. And we got this big ugly down pipe out. What about that with your sensor? Yeah. It's all unplugged. Okay. I'm just trying to maneuver myself because this one's got the big ass fucking flex pipe on it still. Ta da! Now for the other side. <laughs> yeah, now time for the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Tom Coffee, raw. PB blaster for the win. Got that one off. Did you get your first one on the passenger side off? Yeah.
But Kids if we had a good piece of ABS, you could make them like ZL1 add-ons. That's what they do. Make a jig for it, and then you can actually plastic weld bolts to it and pass them above the head line. Hmm. Because if you go buy all the factory stuff to do it for Ford, it's like, I think now they're supposed to be Did I get it? Oh, I did. I got it all the way off. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Um. It is like all over your eye. Okay. So this one tends to be tucked up in there. So we're gonna unplug this one from over there. Now let us drop this down. You have one more that's up in here past the drive shaft. Um, reach up in here and um, pull that bad boy down if you can. There it goes. That way you can get all that down. Really? So there we go. We got both of them out. Well. All right, guys. So as you can see, we have the factory downpipes off. Um, here, we have the CV fab downpipes, and you can see a lot better looking, dude. Uh, versus a 90 degree bend here, you get that nice flow. So you get a mandrel bent pipe here, all welded up very beautifully. And again, lifetime warranty with the CV fab um, downpipes. Your O2 spacer is gonna go in the secondary bung, the one below the cat on both pipes. These come with them, install them, and then install your O2 uh, sensor. And then you're just gonna plug everything back in the way it came off. So we're gonna take these off of this one, install them on this one, and you'll meet us back underneath the car when we're installing the passenger. We're gonna start with the passenger side, and then we'll move over to the driver's side. Boom. Extra hardware. Oh, there it goes. It just fell somewhere. I've seen it right, right here. So the one's still over there? Cool. Yeah, there's one over there. Cool. There, we found it. <laughs> I said I was just playing hide and seek for a little bit. All right. Yeah. All right, guys, these are much easier to put on. Um, you have a lot more room where you can actually reach up in here and start threading them on by hand. I got this one kind of started, so. There it goes. That one's on, so now all we're gonna do is clip back in the O2 sensors, and then we'll move on to the other side, and then we'll do mid pipes last. All right, I'm good, thank you. all plugged in, good to go. Oh, thank you, buddy. You got me a water. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> all right, guys, good to go on this one. Let's move on to the other side. Uh -huh. 
bearings on there. Let's get this. I said, guys, this one's way easier than the passenger side. Uh, you got a lot more room. So that passenger one's just really tucked up in there. All right. Got them both started. I'm going to grab my yeah, extension. Put it in reverse, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> and on top of these, you get the right. Kind of, kind of a little off of it, but there you go. Okay. There it goes. Remember, you gotta plug in all your O2 sensors. Don't forget to do that or else you'll immediately get a code and then you'll be like, what the hell? Make sure you hear them click or physically feel them click. Uh, now we can go ahead and put this motherfucker back, which is all our, our greasy, cross member. greasy and shit. Yeah. All right. That back. Um, and then those two new nuts that are over there behind you they're golden yeah <laughs> you know what sucks guys is <laughs> is that oh. they don't even fucking they're not the right size I wonder hang on nope not even ay 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 this is an issue too I run into with doing these. Um, you need to get your own bolts. So that's the downside to CV Fab. I need to hit up Jason and let him know, hey, these don't work with whatever you're sending them for because <laughs> they're fucking useless. Um, so we're gonna have to find two bolts in my garage that'll work. Um, or make another Riley's run. No, I'll, I'll have bolts in, in the garage that'll work. I have buckets, I'm putting buckets of bolts. That's probably good. So, had to find some nuts in my um, garage that worked. <laughs> Since CV5 sends you the wrong size nuts. Again, it's an issue I've ran into a lot and I, I, I've been meaning to tell Jason from CV5 about it. Um, so hopefully I'll get this fixed for future references. And... There we go. Now we got our 13 here. Run that home. And the only thing is, is we'll need something up here to hold the nut. So it's not threaded. There we go. Nice and tight. And... Nice and tight. All right, we're ready for the mid pipes now. <laughs> it's in that thing where I don't want to go on. Where's the uh... Where's the PB blast? <laughs> Kids, this is how you do a flame mod. <laughs> We're just gonna rub a little bit of lube on it. All right, guys, to get your mid pipes back on, you might have to pull out your purse, hit it with your purse a few times to get them to slide on here because it's pretty tight. 
Uh, 16 in the front, 15s back here. All good to go, everything's tightened up. O2 sensors are plugged in. And uh, we're gonna drop this thing on the ground and give y'all a cold start. <laughs> you can start now. Hold on, just wait for the Puerto Rican to get you know, get that way. Yeah, let her pull it. Dude. Best you can, buddy. That beeping so loud, even from the outside of the vehicle, dude. <laughs> Right, guys next day we're doing the outro hope you like the video it's not, it's not, there we go there it is it's, it's kind of not blurry <laughs> but thanks for watching i hope this was helpful uh, i know a lot of people have been asking for that downpipe video for a very long time um so yeah again hopefully it was helpful you can get them at houstonspeedfreaks.com cv fab or fin fab whatever your preference is i personally love uh, fin fabs but you cannot go wrong with cv fabs and you'll save a couple hundred bucks in your pocket uh again guys thanks Please like, share, and subscribe, and until the next one, bye.